What's up, everybody? It's your boy Corey, aka GQ Saint, back from another reaction video. This is going to be one from Varian Comments. I haven't did one in a minute because basically what he did, I saw from some of the content on the channel, Villains Month since October. So I decided to look at two origins of well known organizations from both Marvel and DC. This one's going to be the first one DC, the origin of the League of Assassins. You should. For those of you who know League of Assassins or what they also know as League of Shadows, if you are familiar with Batman, you should know who these guys are. So, this tape at Origin, me personally, I know most of their origin, but he might uncover some stuff. What I don't know, what you guys might know. Anyways, that one to the video. Once again, any special quest, drop a comment below. Let me know what you want to react to in the future in my videos. And let's go ahead and get it. Villains. What's up, my comic comrades? Today we're breaking down the origin of one of the like coolest shirt, organizations man. in Batman's Rogues Gallery, the League of Assassins. Of course, the CW would have you believe they're part of Green Arrow's Rogues Gallery, but us true comic book fans know better. I mean, come on, they were created yeah. by Ra's al Ghul or Ra's al Ghul, however you want to pronounce it, who's one of the, the most truth. famous yeah, Batman villains of all time. Anyway, let's take a look at how these assassins still got good storyline what they did, but still, I know more what they put on here. The League of Assassins first appeared in Strange Adventures issue 215 in December of 1968. They were created by the late great Denny O'Neill and of course the ever popular Neil Adams. The short and simple summary of who the League of Assassins are is they're an ancient army of extremely deadly assassins that are led by Ra's al Ghul. Quite literally several Ra's of the greatest mercenaries and martial artist experts in the DC universe have been members of the League of Assassins at one point. Now before I go any further, like some Lady of you may Shiva be saying, I thought they were called Bronx, the League of Shadows, yeah, no. at least that's what they're called in the Nolan Batman trilogy. And you're 100 correct that's exactly what they're called in the Nolan Batman movies Nolan decided to change it because of a reason I actually think makes a lot of sense he didn't want to give the impression that Batman opted to train with people who call themselves assassins in order to resolve his inner conflicts thus he changed it from the League of Assassins to the League of Shadows again for his Batman universe yeah, that make, I think that it makes, makes sense. sense but like most successful aspects from comic book movies they get adapted and brought into the comic book continuity and the League of Shadows is one of those things they made their debut in Detective Comics issue 952 in May of 2017 it's revealed they're a splinter group from the League of Assassins. They consist hmm. of sleeper agents led by Lady Shiva. You know, one of the baddest martial artists and assassins yeah, in Shiva. all of comic books, not just the DC Universe. What's really cool about the League of Shadows is they're kind of like the Court of Owls, where Batman didn't believe they existed at first. He thought they were just a myth that was centered around Ra's al Ghul. It gets even crazier, guys. Batman found out that he discovered their existence several times before, but every time he did, Ra's would just wipe his memory of them, all MIB style. Which is hmm. why for several years, Batman only thought the League of Assassins existed. But in fact, so did the League of Shadows. They weren't just an old wise tale. And as we know, Raz's whole purpose is to get rid of all evil on Earth and reset it. Basically, start from scratch while the League of Shadows was created to help him in that mission to stop mankind from destroying itself. But ultimately, Lady Shiva turned the League of Shadows against Raz and used them for her own devices. If you ask me, it's actually pretty cool that the comics made them an offshoot of the League of Assassins. But now that I went on a yeah. tangent about the League of Shadows, let's get back on track to where it all started, the League of Assassins. The League of Assassins were created by Raz al Ghul a very, very long time ago. It was such a long time ago, we don't even know the exact time they were created. Yeah, but we Raz do know they were created to be the fang really that the head. If you know anything about Ra's al Ghul, you know his name translates to the head of the demon, meaning the League of Assassins or the fang that protects the head were created to protect Ra's al Ghul, aka the head of the demon. And Ra's was certainly not messing around when creating this group of assassins to protect him and carry out his plan. Such members have been Lady Shiva, who is commonly referred to as the deadliest assassin in all of the DC Universe. I mean, she straight up trained Batman. Then you have David Kane, another one of the most deadly assassins in DC. He's also the father of Cassandra Kane. Yeah, you know, I know David Kane. slash orphan. And then you even have Merlin, one of the foremost expert assassins utilizing his bow and arrow. With that said, the first person that Roz put in charge of the League of Assassins was Dr. Dark, also known as Ebenezer Dark. He was quite literally the president of the League of Assassins in their debut. Dark led the League of Assassins with very meticulous planning, manipulation, death traps, ambushes, poisons, and concealed weapons. Essentially, they reflected all of his own methods. The crazy part is Ra's al Ghul wasn't even revealed to be the leader of the League of Assassins until Dark and Ra's had a falling out, when Dark kidnapped Talia al Ghul, Ra's daughter. Having two daughters myself, I'd say yeah, that'll do it. That would definitely cause a falling out. This led to Ra's al Ghul oh, kidnapping yeah. Robin, forcing Batman to help him find his daughter. In the end, Dark would die trying to kill Batman and Talia. The second person to lead the League of Assassins was the Sensei. For those of you who don't know who the Sensei is, he was revealed to be the estranged father of Ra's al Ghul, yeah, and he's utterly 
not seen due years to the countless ago. years of using the Lazarus Pits. He continued using a lot of Dark's tactics, but was by far a more brutal leader. After some time, though, Sensei would create an artificial earthquake to kill several diplomats who were gathered for a peace talk. But he fell victim to his own plan, dying in the disaster, at which point Roz had to appoint a new leader. This would eventually lead to Roz ordering David Kane to create a perfect bodyguard, aka the one who was all. One thing led to another, and Sandra Wusan, who would later be known as Lady Shiva, would carry his kid aka Cassandra Kane. By the time Sandra gave birth, she passed the entire League of Assassins in skill and would later leave them right after, at which point she took the name Lady Shiva. However, after Roz's death, his firstborn, Nissa Raku, would make a new incarnation of the League, and then recruited Lady Shiva to serve as the sensei of this incarnation of the League of Assassins. Nissa also intended for Shiva's daughter, Cassandra Kane, to lead the warriors themselves. But as we know, Cassandra would ultimately become Batgirl, and after that, Orphan. Skipping some stuff here and there, the new 52 was actually pretty cool for the League of Assassins, because a new version of the team appeared in the Red Hood and the Outlaws title. This version of the League consisted of Bronze Tiger, December Greystone, Cheshire, Lady Shiva, and a few others. Essentially, Lady Shiva is attempting to recruit Jason Todd to be the leader of the League of Assassins. Yeah, if you're a Red Hood fan, this is pretty dope. The League is hmm. following the guidance of Roz while also starting a war with the Outlaws and the Untitled. If you don't know who the Untitled are, they're a prehistoric clan who drink water from a pool of absolute will, becoming immortal. And obviously, more recently, like I said earlier, we were introduced to the League of Shadows, an offshoot of the League of Assassins Assassins in the DC Rebirth Detective Comics title. As for powers and abilities, well, like I've been saying, the League of Assassins is exactly that. A league that consists of some of the best assassins, mercenaries, and fighters in all of the DC Universe. Meaning their powers and abilities consist of anything and everything that makes someone a deadly assassin. Hand AKA being a skills. master of martial arts, weaponry, tactics, stealth, intelligence, and so on and so forth. As for reading recommendations, check out Batman Detective Comics Volume 3, League of Shadows, Batman and Robin 23.3, featuring Ra's al Ghul and the League of Assassins, Red Hood and the Outlaws Volume 4, League of Assassins, then also check out Birth of a Demon, the origin of Ra's al Ghul, since he's the creator of the League of Assassins. That should be enough to get you all started. And just like that, my comic comrades, that brings another. Yeah, good to know. I like that. So it covers some things that most of us even didn't even know. Most of the stuff I knew, he left some parts. Yeah, I didn't know that. Pretty cool video, yeah. So definitely gave you some more ideas, such as Arrow. Parmy didn't like the way they did the League of Shadows or Assassins. Because it kind of straight, straight how much how it's originally from Batman. That's the way I felt. But it was still a good storyline. Anyway, let me know what you think of the video. Anyway, I will be doing the next video of, you know, I'm pretty sure I'm going to look up though. I'm pretty sure he already did the origin of Hydra. I'm going to do that video right next after this. Once again, might drop this video either today or tomorrow. Well, tomorrow most likely. Anyway, make sure boy give a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day. Peace.